Good morning. I welcome you all to the series of lectures on internal combustion engines. Today we are going to discuss the rate of pressure rise in spark ignition engine that is a petrol engine. So this is something like a effect of compression ratio on combustion rate. So for example <clears throat> the combustion is uh, there are three uh, combustion rates I have taken one is a low rate of combustion and the usual rate of combustion and third one is high rate of combustion if, for example if I consider the low rate of combustion that means uh, a low with low compression ratio uh, low rate of combustion means the flame travel speed is very less when we get this play, flame travel speed less when we have less temperatures available inside the cylinder and when we have less temperatures when we have less pressures and when we have less pressures and less temperatures when we have less compression ratio that means if i have less compression ratio the flame speed is less so that i will get a low rate of combustion if the combustion is low so i will get um, this is the combustion process from start of spark to the uh, peak pressure so that means the flame travel speed is very slow that's why i get more time to travel to the end portion for example if I consider the engine cylinder arrangement like this this is the piston during compression and uh, compression stroke and it is TDC the flame started before piston reaches to the top dead center and it is moving till the piston reaches to top dead center and it is slotted move down in the expansion stroke still the uh, flame is going to reach the end portion that means the time taken to reach the flame to the end portion is more that's why I got more uh, uh, time more time for the complete combustion of course it is, this point is not represent the combustion complete combustion after this point also there are several uh, combustion of takes place that is after burning because of reassociation that is because of chemical chemical balance after burning after uh, you know reaches the flame to the end portion that means after reaching maximum pressure also there are some uh, uh, burning takes place that is after burning but we will consider only this is the main portion of the burning so in low rate of combustion the combustion takes place very you know slowly so that means uh, by the time piston reaches to top dead center it is started more down also still the flame is reaching to the end portion so that's why we get a very less temperature and less pressure and this less pressure and le of course this pressure and the temperatures maximum pressure and maximum temperatures are very low with compared to the higher rate and usual rate but still these temperature and peak maximum pressure and maximum temperature produced after burning also you know available after piston started move from top dead center to bottom dead center that means far away from the top dead center that is the, by the time this reaches to the maximum pressure piston already come down so very low rate so low work output will come here and in case of high rate of combustion you know in the combustion speed is more that means if the compression ratio is more automatically pressure and temperatures are more when temperature and pressure are more automatically the flame travel speed is more so even i give spark uh, very before very very just before pdc also it takes very less time to complete combustion and it will reach the maximum pressure and maximum temperature after TD, just after tdc this is very much desirable but with this effect also the one loss is there if i get maximum temperature and maximum pressure after tdc that means when the piston is at top dead center this is a long time when the piston is at tdc after just tdc it is moving down towards down that means in the expansion if i get high pressure and high temperature after tdc just after tdc there is a more time is available for this high temperature gas to transfer this heat to the cylinder walls so that means more amount of heat can go to the cylinder walls that is a loss so that's why we used to go usual rate of combustion so that means the maximum pressure and maximum temperature are occur after just after tdc but it is not that much as high rate of combustion still with this losses with this also we are getting less power compared to this one but still we are using this one because to reduce the heat losses and all this and that too you know if i use this one the combustion is fair so that you know flame you know travels from only from the spark plug there is no uh, much chance to produce knocking so that's the reason why we are using usual rate of combustion thank you